Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and uh, today I want to talk about Vivek Ramaswamy, and I want to talk about cultural exchange and cultural focus and cultural tolerances uh, through the lens of Netflix's Old Dads, uh, which Bill Burr did with Netflix. It was it trended number one on the week it was released. It was a successful release for them, and uh, you can't do better than number one. Right, uh, and uh, and it got it got a pretty good amount of attention, um, and I was really fascinated with the film. This is actually uh, the second video I'm doing on the film on a specific topic in context of Vivek Ramaswamy's 2024 U.S. presidential run. But I want to I want to talk about this. So Vivek Ramaswamy, uh, he is our champion, right? He is our hope, right? So there's so much that can happen if he becomes president. One, we'll, we'll arrive in a world where both, both parties have confirmed that they love people of color in America and are willing to give them power, right? Like real power, not just talk about it, right? Not, not pretend to give power, but real power. Like Barack Obama had real power, like, and he did good and bad with it. I voted for him twice, more good than bad, but, um, you know, he had real power and I, I want to see... The Republicans put a person of color in, uh, you know, walk, not talk, right? Like we say we love everybody. Can we prove it? Right? Like, let's get there. Right. Um, but there's this question of if you're from one culture, uh, so my heritage is Mattapan, I am Native American and, um, and, but I have a huge love of the culture, right? And that is a term that is uh, frequently used for African-American culture. In Netflix's uh, Old Dads, Bobby Cannavale plays a character who uh, has a, an intense interest in the culture, African-American culture, but he's he's Italian, which I know I know this is kind of like a touchy subject and I'm gonna, pr I'm gonna proceed carefully, but generally in America, uh, Italian, you know, Italians are considered white people, right? Because they have, the, there's this concept of passing privilege. If they're not white, it would barely matter because they have passing privilege. They're, re they're recognized by most people to be white, right? So Bobby Cannavale is constantly trying to get uh, to the point where he can. So when he goes into his office and he's the boss at the office, he'll go over to one of the African American um, employees and talk about sneakers or talk about the latest rap, you know, video that dropped. And Bill Burr's character looks at this with cringe. And Bokeem Woodbine's character looks at this with cringe. And it looks like the employee looks at this with cringe. And another employee looks at this with cringe, right? And they're saying, oh, you're trying so hard to, you know, to, to, you know, engage with our culture and you're, you're try hard and it doesn't count. And, you know, you, you can't do this, right? And like, but they're saying it without saying it, right? And so there's this question then of, is he pandering? Is his interest, is his focus too intense, too adamant, right? Is it insincere? Is he trying to be part of something that he can never be part of? And there's this, there's this question, right? And this is why I want Vivek Ramaswamy to be president so much, because I think the reality is, We've had no ability to have this conversation in America because culturally we're saying, hey, you cannot have power in this country if you're not male and ward. If you're not a ward cleaver, forget it, right? And that has changed. And women definitely have, have really, like, very much in many ways, I, in my humble opinion, smashed the glass ceiling and have made huge strides. Well, it's not even debatable. Like, uh, women are outpacing men by huge amounts. It is like stunning how much, um, you know, uh, progress women are making um, in um, economically, socially, uh, you know, they are honestly in America, this is not a joke. Like women are finding that they can live without men it, and men are finding they cannot live without women and are dying the deaths of despair at outrageously high numbers, like just literally in the low millions, right? Like it, it is very scary, right? Like, so, so, but if you are not part of the culture, you know, African-American culture, 
how much can you engage with it? How much are you allowed to engage with it, right? And the thing I loved about the um, the Bill Burry movie was at the very end of the film, like he, you know, Bobby Cannavale, he has he has been run through the ringer, and he just feels terrible, and he feels at his worst, and he's you know he's been defeated at you know at every level, right? And uh, he gets to the point where um, where he just he's feeling feeling terrible. And he goes, he's at this hospital with uh, Bill, um, Bokeem Woodbine's, uh, oh, no, no, it, uh, Bill Burr's wife is having a baby, right? And so they all go to the hospital together, and Bobby Cannavale goes with him. And he has a down and out fight with his wife, right? Like verbal, you know? And he, and he corrects his wife, and he's, you know, they're, they're, they're in the little middle of this mix. And then he says something to his wife, and he says it very adamantly and very directly, right? And this African American male walks past him, and and says no cap, and then gives him a cool handshake, right? And there's this moment in the film where this is everything he was trying to do. He wanted to connect with African American culture in a way that was genuine, where he was received, he was seen, he was heard. And it wasn't considered cringe. It was just genuine and real and a human moment, right? And, and you know, and he says, he says the guy, you know, the African-American says to him, no cap. And then he flawlessly handshakes with this African-American because he had learned the handshake, right? Like, and it's this really special moment, right? And that's what I'm saying, right? If we bring Vivek Ramaswamy in, do we get that moment, right? Do we get the no cap handshake moment where our, you know, where white culture and everyone who, who is white and not, you know, can connect with a people of culture called people of color, a people of color culture in a way that's genuine and real because we've done something real for them. And we've, we've shown that we don't despise them and we don't, um, that we don't hold from them, right? Like we're, we're in it with them. We're humans with them and we're not allowing their, um, you know, their, we're not allowing color to separate. Right. And I think there's a, a possibility that this can be real and we can have this and this can be something that's genuine. Right. And the film perfectly showed this. It showed both sides. It showed the side where people think that it's cringe and it showed side where like, maybe there's some African-Americans who are willing to meet people in the middle and say, I see your love of my culture as a love for me, right? And we have, an, we have a chance to do that at a national political level, at a level that, that, that no cap is real power. And that's genuine and real. Thank you to Bill Burr for an amazing film. Thank you to Bokeem Woodbine for you know uh, doing a fantastic job in the film. And thank you for Bobby Cannavale, like, really sketching this opportunity in brilliant colors and in a beautiful way. And I think Vivek Ramaswamy is our chance for no cap, the full handshake, in my humble opinion. Every single word of that is my humble opinion. What's important is when I get to hear yours, when you get in the comments and send your traffic. Please consider liking, subscribing, and have a wonderful millennium.